Good morning, church. Aren't you glad to be back out in the house of the Lord this morning? Have you enjoyed the revival so far? Oh, praise the Lord. Thankful for these brothers feeling like coming our way. They've been such a blessing to me and my family, and I know they have to the church, and we're just thankful to have them again with us this morning, and looking for another blessing from the Lord this morning. We've got just a couple of announcements I want to mention. A lot of our church family is here this morning. Remember that our fellowship game night will be this coming Friday night uh, instead of this last. And so uh, come out and it'll start at 5.30. Uh, come out and enjoy a good night of fellowship and, and enjoy uh, the kids will be over into the youth room. But... Uh, Come out expecting a, a blessing that night and just good fellowship and, and being with your church brothers and sisters. Um, also, remember, next Sunday morning will be fellowship breakfast. And so come out, uh, invite someone to come out with you that morning. And we look forward to that and always enjoy good food with Brother Josh and Brother Jake uh, fixing us a wonderful breakfast that morning. And so uh, come out uh, and enjoy that. We've got quite a few that are on our prayer request this morning that we want to mention. Um, had some come in this morning. My dad called this morning. is real bad sick. Uh, been up all night. So if you will remember Michael Bryson this morning. Brother Jackie Smithson, please continue to remember him. Remember Mickey Hughes, Sister Betty Lou Allen, uh, James Singleton, Debbie Davis, Carson Roberts, Sister Lynette Rogers, and Brother Ricky, if you'll remember them, Sister Valerie Schultz, Jack and Sue Flood, Billy Akins and Sheila Cartledge, Brother James and Sister Babe Hughes, Sister Dorothy Coots, Sheena Wilson, Alyssa uh, Talley and her family, Jeremy Gentry and his family, Brian and Natalia Morgan, Ricky Minshew, Sandy Ridley, Mary Bogan, and Brother Jimmy and Sister Darlene and Sister Gladys, if you'll remember them. Is there any other prayer requests this morning, church? Sister Leonda? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Next, Farrell. Brother Jimmy? Yes, sir. Sister Marlette. Okay. Norma Hughes this morning. Sister Marletta. Remember Sister Becky Haddock this morning, Brother Philip. Yes, sir. Anyone else? Sister Sally? Yes, ma'am. Remember Sharon and Sister Barbara Tankersley this morning? Yes, ma'am. Sister Darlene? Remember Brandy this morning? Anyone else? Yes, Sister Tina? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Anyone else? Sister Sonia? Yes, ma'am. That's I saw one more back here. Brother your mom. Remember Sister uh Singleton this morning? Brother Rodney. Yes, sir. Jay. Yes, sir. Remember Jay Smith and his family this morning? Anyone else? Don't want to miss no Shay. Yes, sir. Remember that family this morning. Anyone else? Can we all stand this morning? Yes, sir. I'd like to request prayer for Terry and Linda Sherwin and Ted and Julie Summit. Yes, ma'am. Remember those requests this morning. Yes, Nathaniel. Remember your dad this morning. Church, how many in the house this morning has an unspoken request? All over the house. I want you to just keep your hand up for just a second. Each one of those represent a need. That God knows that need. 
Sonia, he knows that need. Even when we murmur in our prayer, when you have you ever been into the point where you get down and you ask God for something and it seems like you're just broken inside? And you don't know what to say. Let me tell you, God knows what you're saying. He knows that need that's inside. He knows that need that he can only move. There's no need here this morning that he can't move. Oh, praise God this morning, church. I thank God for the spirit of God that's in the house this morning. It's been here all weekend. It's been here for weeks as we got ready for this revival. All oh, praise God this morning, church. I just want to give him praise and honor. Did you come out seeking something from him this morning? You don't have to leave these doors feeling unbroken and undone. Today, can be the day of salvation. Oh, praise God this morning. I'm gonna ask, if you will, as I do many services, as we pray this morning, I want you to pray. Pray aloud. Let God know what you need this morning. I went to ask Brother Jesse W. to pray with us. This opened us up last night and the Spirit just began to move. The Lord will lead that away this morning. I'm going to ask my brother to come up and open us in prayer. But I want you to pray this morning. Let God know what you need. You need a blessing this morning? Oh, I'm not satisfied where I'm at. Oh, but thank God I'm not where I used to be, Brother Jimmy. Oh, praise God. I'm still reaching. I'm still climbing on this ladder. After a while, church, Oh, praise God. After a while, we'll make it home. Oh, thank God. This pulpit is charged this morning. Oh, thank the Lord. I'm gonna ask my brother to come up with me. This brother means a lot to me. I remember going to his house when I was just a little boy. You could always feel the Spirit of God when you walk through the doors. Oh, praise God. That spirit's been here. Oh, for many years. Is it dwelling in you? Oh, thank God this morning. Let's all pray this morning. Let us all look to the Lord. Dear kind and gracious Heavenly Father, as we come before you today, there's so many here that need a touch of the Master's hand. We're calling upon you today, Lord, to let your healing and your comfort, whatever the case may be, we ask you, Lord, to let it go over this congregation today, Lord. We feel it coming down, Lord, that virtue that comes down from heaven. Lord, that virtue that healed the woman that had the issue of blood. Lord, if you can do that, we know you can move anything and any problem that may be existing in our congregation today. Lord, we ask your blessings upon this church and the move and the heal in every nation. We ask you, Lord, to let your blessings and your spirit just get greater and greater on this church here at Chatsworth. Bless the pastors, Lord, and the ones that labor so faithful. Lord, and when we, when you, the brothers begin to speak this morning. Lord, let your anointing be with them. Lord, and we ask these favors in Jesus' name. Let all the congregation say amen. Thank you. This time, we've had a request for Brother Jesse to sing for us this morning. Would you make him welcome this morning?
I thank the Lord for being here. This song means a lot to me. I sing it a lot, Brother Pratt. But I don't ever want to get back to that place I used to be where I didn't have a relationship with the Lord. So this song means a lot to me. Walk with me, Lord. Lord, walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Lord, walk with me. When I walk so close of journey, I want you.
Sister Jean, would you, would you love, would you, we'd love to hear you sing this morning. <clears throat> this sister, I've got to see her a few times on social media. Got to see, uh, see her singing and, and I tell you, this family is so talented that God has blessed them so much. And they are such a blessing to so many people. And I, I just want to give honor where honor's due. As Brother Drandon was saying last night. And I know this morning she'll bless your heart. I just want to ask all of you to pray for me because... I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> morning star he's the light and the tribe of Judah oh he's a root and the offspring of David oh he's a lily of the valley oh he's a bright and morning star Oh, he's the lightning, the tribe of Judah. He's the fruit and the offspring of David. Oh, he's the lily of the valley. Oh, he's the bright and morning star. I 
King of David Release him lately of the valley Oh, he's a bright and morning star. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go up to the house of the Lord and learn of his way. God is so good. He is worthy of our praise. Feel a great trembling this morning. Do you love him? I look around and I see some people desiring something from God. Yes, you might say, well, Lord, I can't feel you. While happily we may feel after him. Though he be not far, would you just keep feeling for him? Acts chapter two. While happily, Brother Dwayne, we may feel after him. Though he be not far from any of you. Oh, would you just reach out and touch him? Would you just reach out and touch him? Would you just touch him and let him, would you just let him touch you? Brother Ray, you see this brother, his little old body shaking. I remember a time wherever this assembly needed him, he went. But Brother Ray, one day they gonna be a record told. Oh, you talking about a crown of life. Yeah, that fadeth not away. That's reserved in heaven for you. Yes, God's made reservations. God's made reser- God's made reservations for his people. Amen. Go and tell ye. In the city of Jerusalem, till you be endued with power from on high. Brother JB, and you shall receive power. Brother Rodney, after that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Ye shall be witnesses of me in Jerusalem and all Judea and regions around Jordan. Amen. I'm going to ask him to begin reading. Lord, last night, did God take us on a journey? We started home and my wife said, I've not felt the Holy Ghost that strong since 1972 when Uncle Jesse laid his hands on her. Yeah, and God delivered her. Praise his holy name. 
who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of God's dear Son. Amen. Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. When the day of Pentecost will fully come. Go and tell ye. Amen. In the city of Jerusalem. To you be endued. He didn't tell them how long to tarry. Amen. Just tarry till it comes. Yeah. And if you care to read it. When you get home in Acts 27, Paul was on a ship. And I'll paraphrase a little with you. There was an unjust captain. And Paul was a prisoner. And he told him, he said, don't launch. There's a storm on the water. But the captain wouldn't listen. He launched anyway. Oh, is that what you're gonna do? Are you gonna keep going when God's telling you to come to me? Praise his holy name. Are you going to keep saying no? This captain, after a while, the waves got boisterous. I'm going to show you what it means to tarry here. Tarry you in the city of Jerusalem till you be endued with power. After a while, these people... They hadn't eaten 14 days. Paul said, take me eat and eat. For this is the 14th day that you have tarried. They wasn't just sitting there. This is the 14th day that you have tarried eating nothing. Amen. You say, how could they live? Oh, they wanted something that natural life wouldn't give them. They wanted eternal life. Praise his holy name. This is the 14th day that you have tarried, eating nothing. Oh, but listen, church. I'll have him to read on in a minute. But after a while, they begin to throw their load overboard. Oh, what's wrong? There's a man of God on board. There was a man of God on board. Praise his holy name. Yes, brothers and sisters, listen. Yes, he said like this. Yes, they beginning to start to jump to get out of the boat. But listen, go along with what he preached last night. Hold on. Hold on. I've got deliverance coming. Yes, Lord, Lord, listen. He said, except you abide in the ship, you'll all likewise perish. But after a while, the ship run aground. It come apart. But Paul said, grab a board. Get any part of the ship. Just get a part of it. It'll land you safely. You say the church ain't got nothing to do with it. That boat did, didn't it? Amen. When Noah prepared the ark, what did he prepare it for? For the saving of his house. By which he condemned the world, Brother Wesley. If there ain't no difference in us, who's gonna be condemned? After a while, this boat run aground. But when they landed, they landed on an island. It was barbaric. They were unlearned. They didn't know the right hand from the left. But after a while, this man, the apostle Paul, was warming his hands in the fire. There was a scorpion coming, latched on his hand. 
he shook it off in the fire. They said he must be a sorcerer or something. That the scorpion come out and got him. What are you thinking about, man of God? What are you thinking about, man of God? What's your thoughts? Well, I'm gonna show you what mine and your thoughts without the spirit is. He said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. And my ways are past finding out. Oh, you let me get in the spirit. And it's not me no more. It's him that's in me. It's like Brother Durandon said, we ain't got nothing but this to tell you. After a while, they kept watching him. They said, he must be a god. His hand's not even swelling. These people didn't know the right hand from their left. Oh, but after a while, their chief was dying sick. They brought him to the apostle Paul. Pray for him. They had enough sense to see God. Praise his holy name. They had enough sense to see God. What happens when people can't see the spirit? Whom the gods of this world have blinded the minds of them. Lest the light of the glorious gospel should shine unto them and they should believe and be saved. Amen. What do you want? Good and evil set before you. Choose you this day whom you'll serve. I look around. Brother Jesse W. used to run a tractor company for the church in the record service. I look and see Brother Harry Singleton's son and grandson here. And I think about old Brother Harry. Y'all to a better place. If you could hear him or see him, he'd be saying, come on. Come on. Do you love his truth? Amen. What does that truth do? His truth shall be my shield and my buckler. In the time of trouble, are you in trouble? Take his shield. In the time of trouble, in the time of trouble, he will hide me. Remember what the Holy Ghost said, Miranda? He'll hide me. I didn't get that to this now. He'll hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle. Shall he hide me? (laughs) Read on, brother. When the day of Pentecost was fully come. When the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were all with one. People point. think that it was Pentecost that come. Instead of the Holy Ghost. The day of Pentecost was just the feast day of the Jews. That's right. That's right. But that whole day of Pentecost had fully come. But they're still waiting on something. Yes, Amen. Amen. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, Brother Jesse, would you come here, man, honey, Brother Brackett? Come here, darling, if you feel like it. I've seen this brother come in this morning. I see him nearly every Sunday that I'm here. Brother Jesse, I'm gonna walk down the streets of gold with you one day. Yes, are you proud Brother Brackett's here with us? Yes, praise his name. Yes, I remember when his little old daddy was sick. Yes, they called him. He wasn't coming to church. 
Oh, but they said, Brother Pratt, would you come up and see him? God bless you, Brother Jesse. I said, yeah, I'll go. As I began to pray, I said, Brother J.D., would you love to come home? Oh, yes. I'd love to come home. I want God, Holy Ghost, honey, yeah, to comfort your sweetheart. Oh, you feel him, don't you, Brother Jesse? Oh, Lord, Lord. Just the voice of one crying in the wilderness. <laughs> Prepare ye the way of the Lord <laughs> and make his path straight. <laughs> That's all right. You can take a seat up here a little closer if you want to, honey. <laughs> oh, God, church, <laughs> would you not reach out just a little farther? <laughs> would you not just reach down a little farther <laughs> for someone that's needing a help in the hand? <laughs> Oh, praise his holy name. I want to see God pour his spirit out like he did on the day of Pentecost. But there's something we've got to do. Y'all pray for me. My strength ain't what it once was. Oh, see, Brother Peter's sitting back here by Dwayne. I love you, honey. Eldon and Ruth's son. Yeah, I'm proud you're here. Yes, when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Read. They were all in one accord in one place. Have you felt that unity since we've been here? Amen. Felt that unity? Amen. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, what happened? They were all in one accord. They were all in one accord. In one place. One place. Their minds was on the same thing. Amen. They were all in one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven. God bless you, brother. They were all in one accord in one place. God had a blessing coming for them. And suddenly, whew, there came a sound from heaven as the sound of a rushing mighty wind. As, a, as of a rushing mighty wind. Oh, what you talking about the wind? The wind bloweth where it listeth. I can hear the sound thereof but I can't tell from whence it comes or where it goes. But listen, church, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Are you born of the Spirit? Oh, you might be walking through your house, you sisters, maybe washing your dishes. Oh, and you'll hear that, feel that sound. You'll feel the rushing mighty wind come over you. Oh, you'll begin to dance and speak in the Holy Ghost. Praise his holy name. Oh, praise his name. As the sound of a rushing mighty wind. It didn't just feel one of them. Read on, brother. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. They were baptized. Why, it covered them up. Amen. It filled all the house wherein they were sitting. Amen. But it didn't stop there. No, Read on. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a Amen. fire. They was something they could see. Amen. They appeared, uh, there appeared unto them cloven tongues, Brother yes. Jesse, like as a fire, Brother Amen. Jeff. Amen. Yes, sir, brother. And it sat. That was something they could see. Yes, sir. It sat Amen. upon each of them. Glory to God. Yeah, John, it's here up. Glory it God. sat upon each of them. And then what happened? He had done baptized them. And they were all filled with they, the Holy Ghost. Oh, then he put it in them. They were all filled. Amen. They were all filled Amen. with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Do you want it? Do you want it? They, Amen. It's for you. 
and your children and them that are far off and as many as the Lord our God shall call when you want it more than you do your daily food then you'll get your blessing. Read on, honey. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Read on. And began to speak with other tongues. You notice he didn't say unknown tongues. <coughs> other tongues. Amen. What other tongues? They were amazed that they all heard Peter speak in their own language. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 And whatsoever, whatsoever nation they're from, they heard him talking. God can change your language. Amen. You might be speaking in, in the, yes, in the American language. They might be a Hebrew. Yeah, they might be a Spanish person. Oh, but God can change that language to where they can hear what you're saying. Yes, I remember. Yes, a little old brother used to come to Chattanooga from Texarkana. Yes, he said he went to hear my Uncle Estel. He said, Brother Pratt, I didn't speak no English hardly. Yes. He said, but when Brother Estel began to preach with the Holy Ghost, I knew what he was saying. Amen. Praise his holy name. That little old brother's dead and gone now, but he made it home. Yes, Lord, Lord. You might say, well, brother, I need this off of me. I need that off of me. What Brother Duran and I are here for, that's the reason we're preaching the word. He said, it's not my word like a fire. Right. and a hammer that breaketh the rocks into yeah. pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you might have been working with a stony heart, but if you let this word of God, it'll break it asunder. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Read, honey. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. As the Spirit. Did you notice they couldn't do anything right. without the Spirit? Yes, the Spirit had to give the utterance. Yes. I told them, Brother Jesse W., I might see a person in the natural life in one way, but when I get in the Spirit, it can be a whole different way. Yes, Why? Amen. Because I'm looking through different eyes then. Right. Amen. The eyes of the Lord is in every place. Beholding the evil and the good. Amen. Brother James, come on with me, buddy. Yes, praise his name. Look at these old hard working men like this. Yes, praise his holy name. Yes, Brother James, maybe the old world don't care nothing about you, but we do. Yes, yes, I thought about the poor you'll have with you always. Yeah, Jesus said, I'll not always be with you, but the poor you'll have with you always, honey. Yes, God's not forgot them works of righteousness. What you and your loving family does, and has done for him. There's a great reward. Praise his holy name. Yes, people, I want to give honor while I can. Me or Brother James, one might not be here the next time. Oh, Brother James, but I want you to know I love you. Yes, God bless you and your wife. Yes, ain't you proud of the brother? Yes, Lord, we're proud of every one of you. Oh, Lord, Lord, just the voice of one, just the voice of one, Brother Jason, crying in the wilderness. Oh, people says, I don't like the crying. I don't like the tears. It makes me feel bad. That's what it is. They don't like the tears because they're not living up to it. Yes, Lord, I want something that'll prick my heart, don't you? Praise his holy name. 
Them people that stoned Stephen, they didn't like it either. It just cut to their heart. Amen. The Bible said they were cut to the heart. They began to gnash on him with their teeth. Amen. But on down here you'll see a crowd of people that was pricked in the heart. That word got below the collarbone, Brother Randy. Amen. I used to hear my brother Paul when I was a little young boy. He'd put me out to preach. He'd say, son, it's just you and God now. Go on, let him lead you. That's what I'm doing this morning. Yeah, when I get here, it's just me and him. Oh, what I'm saying is to help you, but I'm listening to him. Praise his holy name. Son, it's just you and God. It's just you and God, Brother Jeff. God's touching you. Praise his holy name. Yes, praise his name. Praise his name. Yes, praise his name. Yes, praise the name of the Lord. Do you love him this morning? Do you love him? Do you know why you love him? Because he first loved us. I want you to read on. Try not to be up much longer. Read on, honey. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men. There were dwelling. Dwelling. What was they doing? They was living there. There were dwelling Jews and devout men. Out of every nation under heaven. Out of every nation under heaven. But what happened, brother, when this Holy Ghost come? Now when this was noised abroad. When this was noised abroad, that Holy Ghost coming. The multitude came together. They wasn't a multitude when there was an upper room. They was just 120. But when they went out, Oh, you ought to have seen what we saw. You ought to have felt what we felt. Are you, are you ashamed of it? Are you telling somebody about it? When this was noise, Sonia abroad. The multitude came together. The multitude. When they heard about this Holy Ghost, when they heard about this power that could speak in every language. Amen. Amen. Then they all come together. The multitude came together. And were confounded. They were confounded. Why? Because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Every man heard them speak in his own language. Praise his name. I want to ask you something today. Is God speaking to you in a language you can understand? Is your heart listening? Is your heart listening? Can you understand the Spirit of God? Can you understand the Spirit of God? Can you understand the message? He's speaking to you. He's speaking. He's speaking to you. Amen. You better get the message. Glory to God. He said, The Lord hath given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He openeth my ear to hear as the learned. If you can't hear the, have the ear of the learned, Amen. you need to ask God to touch your hearing. Amen. How do you know when you've heard? He that heareth these sayings and of mine undoeth them. Amen. 
He that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, Amen. I will liken him unto a wise man. Amen. Are you wise? I'll liken him unto a wise man. The wain that dug down deep and build his house upon the rock. Yeah. I see you, honey, I'm proud to see you. Praise yes, God. praise his name. Amen. I seen her over to restaurant yesterday. Yes, I love this sister. Yes, I look around, I went in. Yes, this lady come to me. She said, what's your name? I told her. She said, I'm your kin, folks. Yeah, could I hug your neck? I said, sure you can. Yes, it doesn't matter where I go. Yes, I meet saints of God. Praise his holy name. Yeah, they might wander away, but somewhere God's great Holy Ghost will reach out and bring them home. Oh, praise his holy name. Yeah, Lord, Lord, church. Somebody's prayed for me. Oh, praise his name. I feel a renewing of the strength of God. Oh, God. Yeah, somebody's prayed for me. It's like he's just put new energy in me. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I give you all all the honor and glory, Lord. For it's in you that we live and move and have our being. <coughs> Read, honey. And they were all amazed and marveled. They were amazed and marveled. Saying one to another. Saying one to another. Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? How? Oh, are not all these which speak Galileans? Yeah. But what? Amen. And how we how hear we every man in our own tongue? How hear we every man in our own tongue? Amen. Right. Wherewith we were born. Wherewith we were born. Read on, brother. Parthians and Read. Medes and Elamites. Read on. And the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea. And Cappadocia, read and Pontus, on. Read on. And Asia, Phrygia. Drop on down a couple of verses. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another. They were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another. Is that where you're at today? Are you in doubt? The Bible said, he that doubteth is damned if he eat. Amen. For he eateth not of faith. Amen. And whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Amen. Are you doubting where it's God or not? <coughs> Try the Spirit. Amen. Try the Spirit. Amen. See if it be of God or not. Amen. Yes. I went to a place one time up in Kentucky. They asked me to speak. Made some people very mad. When I started to leave, they said, Preacher, don't go out there. They've got knives waiting. I said, They can't hurt me. I walked right through them. I stuck my hand out to one that was holding the knives. How you doing? I love you, brother. Hey, Amen. Don't tell me God won't put a hedge about you. That's exactly right. God knows right where you're at. He said he'd make your enemies to be at peace with you. Amen. Amen. I want you to read on. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, what meaneth this? Does, he's trying to gather you. What do you mean by this, preacher? Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden yeah. and I'll give you rest. Dwayne, you fought with it long enough. Come to him, he'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. 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 Come here, Dwayne. For my yoke is easy. My yoke is easy. I'll meet you up there. 
My yoke is easy. My yoke is easy, Dwayne. My yoke is easy. My burdens is light. I love you. I love you, honey. Take your yoke upon you. There ain't enough room for everything else. Just you and Jesus. Yeah, just you and Jesus. Take my, if you can see the tears running down his face. My yoke is easy. My burdens are light. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Sit up here with me. My yoke is easy. My burdens are light. Yes, praise his holy name. Would you get up, get yoked up with Jesus? Jesus, oh, there's just not two. There's just room for two in that yoke. You and him. Oh, Lord. Oh, would you just follow his lead? My yoke is easy. My burdens are light. Casting all your cares upon the Lord. For he careth for you. My yoke is easy. Why? I'm putting a load on Jesus. My yoke is easy. My burdens, they're light. Amen. I was thanking Brother Jimmy. He ain't here this morning. He's sick. But he had some problems here a few years ago. They come to me and said, Ain't give Jimmy long to live, dying of cancer. Said, would you pray for him? I said, yeah. But all of a sudden, I felt God. I said, God's gonna heal him. God's gonna heal him. God done that. God done that. What's wrong? I might not understand every time when he's talking to me. Oh, but I'm just dumb enough to do what he tells me. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. When they seen Peter and James, they said they knew that they were unlearned men. But then they went on to say, we perceived that they had walked with the Lord. Praise his holy name. I might not have all the education that a lot of people has, but I've walked with the Lord. And I'm walking with him today. Praise his holy name. Praise his name. Read on. Others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. Oh, listen. Because they talk about you, does it make you upset and mad? No. They talked about them. These men are full of new wine. They thought they was naturally drunk. But they was drunk on something besides... Alcohol, wasn't it? Yes, he was drunk on the Holy yes, Ghost. Yes, Amen. Read on. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice. Lifted up. People don't want you to lift your voice. I can read where the Bible said, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Amen. 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 Brother Wesley, I'm going to shout to him. I'm going to praise him, aren't you? Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Joel chapter 2. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Sound an alarm. Amen. In my holy mountain. Ain't that where we at? Yeah. Sound an alarm in mine holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the earth tremble. Don't believe in that trembling. Let all the yeah, house of the Lord tremble. Amen. And let them know assuredly that I am the Lord. And even them that tremble at his word. Amen. I love God, don't y'all? I'm going to read this a little more. God been my helper. What is it the world's got that's more precious to you than your soul? What is it that the world's got 
that's more precious to you than your soul. These people that Marcia asked prayer for, this lady has got multiple sclerosis. About five years ago, we started into a restaurant to eat. And they was coming up and she was on a one handle walker. I opened the door for them and let them in. They went and put their name down. I come up behind them, put ours down. That lady said, sir, could I talk to you? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, are you a preacher? I said, yes, ma'am. Why do you ask? She said, when I passed by you, the Spirit of the Lord stood up on me. He said, I felt God. Amen. My wife will tell you right now, him and her both in bad health. But boy, when they get down, they start calling. Pray for me. Pray for us. Church, you're a light if you'll let it shine. You're a light if you'll let it shine. You're a light if you'll let it shine. But when you do as other people does, you're not saying you're any different than them. Amen. When men revile you, and persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you, falsely, for my name's sake, rejoice. 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 And be exceedingly glad. When they had stoned my grandfather, shot at him in the pulpit, put him in jail for preaching God's word, my grandmother went to visit him. Charlie, are you lonesome? No, I ain't lonesome. I've got the Holy Ghost. Yes, I ain't lonesome. I've got something. I've got the Holy Ghost. It don't matter where you're in a mountain alone or where there's a crowd around you. If God be for us, who can be against us? That's right. Amen. Yes, sir. That's right, brother. I was thinking about Brother Jesse W. Poor Uncle Jesse passed away. We were up Chuck Swan. We was up on a mountainside. Yeah. Scouting for a place to hunt. There's an old rock fence there. Us boys was this young back then. Didn't think much about it. But when he turned around, the tears was running down his face. He said, the man's work still living. Gone, but not forgotten. Amen. 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 He brushed the leaves back. He said, would you love to pray with me here? Yes, sir. Bow down on that old hillside. I tell Brother Charlie a lot. I felt his hands on my head that day. God bless Pratt. Yes. I'd give anything in the world if I could feel those hands again. Yeah, praise his name and hear that voice. Yes, people, you might not think much about it, but the best friend you've got is a man that'll tell you the truth. Yes, they won't soft soak it. They'll tell you like it is. Yeah, that's what the book said, preach the word. Be instant in season. <laughs> Out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort yes. with all long suffering and doctrine. Right. That's how he told you to do it. Yes. With long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when men will not endure sound doctrine. Right. Are you not seeing it? Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Ain't nothing taking me off by the help of God Amen. from what I've been taught. Amen. Amen. Read, brother. But Peter standing up with the eleven. But Peter standing up with the eleven. Lifted up his voice and said unto them. Lifted up his voice and said unto them. You men of Judea. You men of Judea. And all ye that dwell at Jerusalem. All ye that dwell at Jerusalem. Be this known unto you. Be this known unto you. And hearken to my words. Don't just let it go by. Yeah. Right. Hearken. Amen. Brother Jesse W., hearken. Amen. 
Amen. Hearken. You don't worry. You don't worry. Hearken unto my word. Unto my words. What's he telling them? Move up to it. Hearken to my words. Praise the Lord. Sonia, cheer up. Hearken unto my words. What was his words? My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew. That's Deuteronomy 32 if you want to read it. Amen. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew. Amen. Read on. For these are not drunken as you suppose. Did I tell you they thought they was drunk? Yes, sir. These are not drunken as ye suppose. Seeing it is but the third hour of the day. Seeing it is but the third hour of the day. Right. Carolyn, don't you worry. You've worried and worried. But God's going to lift them worries. Praise his whole name. Praise his name. Amen. Praise his name. Read on, brother. People, I'm, I might be strange to you, but I'm feeling God. I'm feeling God. These people sitting here, it's been under things that you thought you could never get free of. But God's freeing you today. Glory to God. Amen. He's a freeing you. You might think I can't do it. Oh, but you can. We can do all things through Christ. That strengthens us. Ain't no need in this water in it. No. No, the Bible, David said he brought me out of the miry clay. That's where he brought me from. He brought me out of the miry clay. He set my feet upon a rock. Amen. If my brother right here, when I was addicted with alcohol and drugs, nicotine, he'll tell you, I'd come to his house nearly every day. I just need to be with you. Just need to be with you. Why? One day I run out of my mother's house. I run to the end of the street. Had money in my pocket. I thought, well, I'll get some alcohol and drugs and I'll leave here and they won't be worried with me no more. But when I got to the end of the road and I looked into the window where the alcohol was, I said, Lord, please deliver me. Please deliver me. I don't want to do this. I've prayed for a year, God, that you'd give me a spirit to live right. Buddy, right then and there, God took it from me. I've never wanted it since. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. You might have been struggling and struggling. It don't matter where it's prostitution you're struggling with. Praise his holy name. Yes, it might be pornography. I don't know your problem's yours, but I'm telling you to give it to Jesus. Yes, praise it in the holy name. It might be yours now, but you can give it off to him and he'll take care of it. Praise his holy name. Would you give it to him? I want you to turn down to, on down there in the same chapter 36. <laughs> brother Gene, I see you back there, honey. I love you. I was thinking about Brother Bill, Raper. This man I dearly love. And I know he loves me. But sometimes you might get discouraged feeling like you're not doing any good. But when you realize that you've preached a sermon sometimes that a person never forgets and they carry it with them. I remember, I guess it was 1954, Brother Jesse W. probably remember. I was just a little boy, five, five years old, I believe. My Uncle Jesse preached a sermon down at the old Ford place on this old house is leaking. I've got to move. 
He said, does anybody want to go to heaven with this preacher? I was sitting on my mother's lap. I said, Mama, please, I want to go. She said, take off, son. I jumped down out of her lap. I ran and grabbed the preacher around the legs. I said, I want to go with you. I want to go with you. You know what? I'm still that little boy at heart. I'm still wanting to go. I'm still wanting to go. Yes. I was laying there on my bed this morning. I said, God, I thank you for a good church of God pillow to lay my head down on. I thank you for a good church of God bed to lay on. Yes, Lord, I praise you. I honor you. And if you call me right now, I'm ready to go. Don't have nothing to fix with nobody. My record's clear today. For he washed my sins away. Yes, the old account was settled long ago. Amen. Yes, I believe I'll close there. God being my helper. Would it be all right to have a song? Marcia, there's a song I want you to sing. There's a better day. If you will. You might be in your life. There's a lot more there than I was wanting to read. But I'm not my own, Brother Gerandon. It's okay. You won't come play with her. There's a better day, church. Your life is but a vapor in my life. James said, what is life? Life is even as a vapor. That appeareth for a little season and then it vanishes away. If God called you today, would you be ready to meet him? The choice is yours. Good and evil is set before you. Choose you this day whom you'll serve. Jesus When you say no, it's like the same people that when they ask them, Pilate asked them, which one do you desire, Barabbas or Jesus? They said, give us Barabbas, crucify Jesus. I'm asking you the question today, who are you choosing, Barabbas or Jesus? The choice is yours. Amen, Amen, the choice is yours. Do you love him? If you say you love me and keep not my commandments, he said you're a liar and the truth is not in you. Amen. The Bible said that you should walk even as he walked. Amen. I'm going to ask her to sing and if you will, stand with me. If you feel God knocking at your heart, I want you to come and talk to the Lord don't turn it away church of a friend bound by substances on which habits depend there's a better way To make it through the day, a brighter light to guide you through the night. There's a better day. Yes. Not so far away. There's a better day. Far from yesterday. Yes. Where we went astray. There's a helping hand. Help us take a stand. There's a better day. He wants it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, dear God. The way he loves you. Lord, I remember when you. If you think your life is out of control. You've fallen so low You've almost lost your soul Reach up your hand To a loving man Who gave
gave it all so we could stand tall there's a better day not so far away far from yesterday where we went astray
Sister Tina, come up front. Stand out here, if you will. Come back. Give their hearts to the Lord. How many of you receive them? And you, Chris, in love and fellowship. Praise his name. And old Brother Jason, proud to hear this. Brother Ernie had an aunt when we were young. We didn't have a lot, but she used to bring us candy and toys. I won't ever forget her, Brother Ernie. Are you proud to be in the house of the Lord? How many visitors have we got in the house today? Lord, we're so proud to have you. I hope you're getting a blessing. We love you. God bless you. We love you. so good, ain't he? He is worthy of all of our praise and honor and glory. I'll tell you what, I feel sort of like uh, Brother James Wilson did. He said, I never did want to get 78 until I got 77. Well, I ain't hardly that old yet, but I'm getting close to that 70 mark. And you know what I feel is refreshed right now? I feel God has entered me and given me strength. And I just love him and I see my little old sister coming up here. She's not my natural sister, but she helped raise me. And General, yeah. Yeah, you honor him, honey. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah, honey. God bless you. Yeah, but God did, honey. Amen. He hears you. He hears your heart. Amen. Yeah, darling. Cheer up. Praise God. Yeah, honey. God bless you, honey. This is a wonderful sister. 
I gave her a rough time when I was little. I know I did. <laughs> and, uh, and Jean, I think, spanked me one time with a comb or something. And uh, I tease her about it sometimes. But I needed a lot more than what I got. But uh, I just love you on my friends here with Melissa and them. I'm just so, I love the spirit I see. I love y'all. And I, I tell you, when I look at you and I see people rejoicing in the truth, you don't have to be raising a hand or saying a word when I can see God touching your heart and see that reaction in your eyes. It's awesome. I've got a friend called David Warren. Went back to school here a few years ago to get my degree and his wife called me the other day and he'd had a professor that had a stroke. And she said, Brother Pratt, all, all I could understand, said, he said, call the man of God. Said, you're the only person I've ever heard him call the man of God. Said, would you pray for him? I don't know, church. You know, the Bible said, beware to entertain strangers. For some have entertained angels unaware. They were something he's seen. Hey man, I tell people if we're out in the world, I don't tell nobody I'm a preacher unless they ask. You know why? If I have to tell them, I ain't much of one. Hey man. But if they can see Christ in me, hey man, if they can see a difference, it's Him. Hey man, it's Him. I love you, Brother Jason. I love you. Thank you. I love you people, and I'm just giving God the glory and honor for this revival. Appreciate Brother Jay Duranda and asking me to come with him. And I'm having people to call me lately. Brother Pratt, would you go with me in revival? Said, yeah, I'll go. Somebody said the other day, he said, don't you get tired? I said, yeah, I get tired, but I'm working for a crown. Amen. Amen. A crown of righteousness that the fade of not away. That's reserved in heaven for you. I don't care who the little brother is. And I'm not saying that about Jay. He's, he's well prepared. But I want to be there as a state overseer for all you pastors and all you people and deacons. I want you to know I'm here for you. I'm not just, just one that's got a title. I'm there for you. Right. Amen. 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 And the title don't mean nothing, really, without God's with you. It does with him with you. But I want to tell you, it don't, the hours don't get too dark. The nights, if you need me, I'll be there. I love you. And I ask God to bless each and every one of you. I just thank you so much, and Jay, Geranda. We're going to have to do it again. I mean, I ain't saying we're closing, but, but uh, I'm just so happy. after General did and before she passed I was headed to Texas in revival and Lisa and them called and they said Uncle Pratt Mama's not responding I said said she can't hear us can't talk back to us I said put the phone to her ear she put the phone to her ear and I said Sister Violet you know who this is yeah that's Pratt I said God knows God knows. You know, you might feel like you're so far away like Brother Ernie told me. But he's just right there. He's the very present help, Brother Dwayne, in the time of need. You brothers and sisters, it started your journey.
Don't feel like he's far away from you. He's right there. God bless you. What an awesome spirit in the house of God. Thank the Lord for Brother Pratt obeying the Lord. And we are there any other words to be said before we change? Go ahead, Margaret. Let's pray for Margaret and Howard. They uh, have a lot of health issues in the last little bit. Never thought when I was a young man that I'd start seeing myself having issues as I grow as I grow older. But when you're young, you think you're Superman. But when you get older, you know you're not. Amen. Someone else before we change our service. We could all testify, Shay. Glad that God has touched in your life, Brother Shay. Brother Jay Smith called me and wants me to be here for prayer. Brother Jay Smith wanted to join the church as well. He told me Friday night that he was that he wanted to. I said, Well just come a couple service to see if this is your cup of tea. He said, I, this is where I want to be. I said, well, let us know toward the end of the weekend, but proud to have you. And uh, Brother Jake, will you come on up? I'm sure we could all give a testimony this morning. Will you raise, by show of hands, would you love to give a honor God this morning? You know God will accept that, and if you really just feel like you need to speak, we'll let you, but uh, I believe God will accept that this morning. All right. This time we're going to ask our deacons to come around. We're going to ask God's blessing over this offering that we're about to receive. If you would, please bow your heads. Dear Lord in heaven, we thank you this morning for another day to come out to your house, another day to come to feel your spirit and to hear your word. God, we ask you, Lord, to let it find a lodging place in each and every one that's here that we'll all grow closer and be what you'd have us to be. Lord, we ask you today, Lord, to bless this offering that we're about to receive. And Lord, bless those that have to give.
Lord, bless their homes. Bless everything that their hand touches. Lord, bless those that don't have to give to be able to help them to be able to have to give the soul into your labor. In the name of Jesus, amen. We're going to get one more offering after this one. Yeah, these brothers are going to come around twice. The first time is for our Sunday school offering. The next time you see them, they're going to come around for an offering for these brothers in revival. And if they've blessed your heart, you can't, monetarily, we can't pay them for what they've done, for what words they've spoken. But you can show them a little bit of love. You can help them. Anybody been to gas station lately? It ain't cheap. That car don't run on air. So uh, we can help them out with gas with some something to eat. Anybody interested in here who won the cake? There ain't but one person going to like it. Some of our newer comers, Leonda. <laughs> Brother Charles, they missed you this week. We wasn't letting you go. He said, if it's all right, they'd like to come back tonight. I wasn't closing meeting out for them this morning. <laughs> we was going to have them back whether they's coming or not. <laughs> we appreciate y'all. Honestly, truly appreciate y'all. Wesley, will you come up and pick a, a tune?